אלודיה, at growplants.org, this succulent herb, um, also known as Mad- Madagascar Ocatolio, or something like this, probably I'm mistaken. It's a perennial deciduous plant, uh, used for ornamental, it's toxic and well known as a For the toxic the spines are uh, very problematic you can use it as a edge plant because of this uh, I promise you not so much enter it will be and the ones that you will do it will regret for it requirement it's a well-drained soil small amount of water it's very important uh, if you don't have good drainage put very very small water slow growing plant and Uh, there is a variety so one of them it's from one meter to ten meters so it's mean three feet to 30 feet something like this plus minus can grow in half shade to full sun prefer full sun blooming season it's in the summer this uh, flower is not very impressive can be green yellows are small uh, what is impressive is that the, every spine there is one leaves and it's quite of impressive when it's grow. It can grow in varieties of climate, uh, from the desert to the subtropic. It can survive frost, uh, depends, uh, depends the climate again. There is some problems with cool, cold weather. Uh, it's a draw tolerant, uh, so if you, have, you need to make an edge garden that is far away from your water, uh, you can just put a little bit of water until it will establish. Yeah, there is, uh, again... Uh, some problem uh, as I said it's toxic uh, planting season uh, the best one it's uh, autumn in a hot climate and spring in colder climate uh, summer it's also option and also winter actually you can all there but I would recommend or spring or autumn there isn't a major pests I didn't really saw there is some pest for the leaves itself uh, but uh, because of the spine it's a very very uh, grow next to each other it's hard for uh, snails slugs uh, there is some efforts but again not something crucial how to prune it uh, it's just for the design and sometimes uh, the stems tending to whip uh, if you have a uh, whipping uh, stems or f- almost falling it's better to prune it after you prune it you need to check that the uh, areas that you prune didn't die. The best way to start is from cutting. Uh, it's easy, you just cut, you wait 2-3 weeks, even more, until the, until the stem, you see that uh, the down, there isn't open uh, tissue anymore. In the moment that there isn't open tissue, you can just plant it. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course like this video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate. I hope you enjoy.